everyone uh, how are you i hope you are doing extremely good so today let's solve this problem maximize the profit as the salesman from the elite code contest so first let's understand the problem so here you are given an integer n representing the number of houses on a number line numbered from 0 to n minus 1 here they will give an integer n and from 0 to n minus 1 at 0 1 2 3 so on till n minus 1 we have different houses and additionally you are given a 2d integer array offers where offer of i is start and and gold so here uh, the currency is gold so he is not considering money uh, so he will uh, for every 2d integer he will give start point and and how many gold coins he will receive indicating that i to buyer wants to buy all the houses from the start to end suppose if it is one three then he will buy first one house second house and the third house so in this way buyer will buy all the houses from the start to end we are the salesmen so our goal is to maximize your earnings by strategically selecting and selling the house to buyers i am a salesman i want the maximum profit so how I can achieve that and we need to return the maximum amount of gold we can earn and this is most important thing note that different buyers can't buy the same house and same house may remain unsold and suppose um, you are given 0 to 5 one index 0 to 5 I am purchasing and suppose other index is 3 to 6 0 to 5 4 3 4 5 is already purchased is already purchased right 3 to 6, 3, 4, 5, 6, 3 to 5 is already purchased. So you can include either 0 to 5 or 3 to 6, not both, not both. The same house can't be purchased by the different buyers. Suppose the house is one, uh, that means we have uh, one to many property is not validated. So we need to maximize our profit. Uh, so let's understand so if you see this uh, first thing we will come to mind is overlapping sub problems uh, what overlapping sub problems i think most of you are remembered suppose you have given interval 3 1 to 5 sorry uh, suppose you have given 1 to 5 and 3 to 6 so the my maximum interval is 1 to 6 but in this scenario if we include 1 to 5 we should not include 3 to 6 that means we can either include this or we can include this uh, okay uh, now let's see uh, if include exclude include exclude okay then it can be a knapsack okay it can be a knapsack so if if we want to solve using a knapsack so what would be our criteria so see guys we are just approaching how we need to solve this problem so if it is a knapsack let's see uh, how how it can be implemented so first thing comes to the mind is uh, sorting oh sorting yes so if you do sorting let's try so if you do sorting zero uh, this array is already sorted so if we, if i include this if i include this whether i can include this or not no right i can't include this okay i will eliminate it if i include this i can include this yes i can include this either these two can be included or only this can be included okay okay this can be included so let's sort let's sort all the 2d array after sorting the 2d array let's um, after sorting the 2d array let's apply the knapsack let's apply the knapsack so i will show you with the uh, i will show you the code so that you can understand easily so let's see the brute force approach uh, here we are sorting it why we are sorting we need a peculiar order the order should be there to solve this because if you see the question if you see the question n is 10 power 5 so in to solve the problem mostly in either order of n or order of n into log n not more than that if you solve in order of n square we will get an time complex we will get a time complexity error so here we are sorting it and we have m is equals to v dot size and we are answer we are sending it solve now if you see the solve function a is equals to solve first thing we are excluding i don't want this 
exclude so next thing if i want to include it if i suppose 0 0 i am including it i am including it uh, this is my one index this is index this is index this is, is the index and this and this so to include the next index uh, the start of this should be greater than end of this right start of next element should be less than the previous element so we will check we will iterate from j is equals to i plus 1 j equals to i plus this is less no uh, no this is not greater so i will not include this this one yeah this start is less than the this and so i can include that k is equals to j i am keeping and i am breaking it out and if if this is also zero if think that if that is this is also zero so what will be my k my k would be minus one and i don't have any elements uh, next to this element so directly i will return it so if a k is not equals to minus one then i am taking k then i am taking k and incrementing that value i mean incrementing the value because we are including this element we are including that uh, element and and uh, we want this all subarrays from this side so that's why i am calling solve function with the index k and in dp of i we are returning the maximum of a comma if you see this problem how much the time complexity would be i i is changing and we are storing in a dp so only one variable is changing so it will be an order of n for every order of n we are performing the search operations it will be order of n into n so we will definitely get a tle so if you see this uh, okay we told right this all should be sorted if it is sorted why can't we apply a binary search we can directly find the index where it is in order of log n times okay let's up let's think about a binary search. so if you see the optimized code only the search function will get changed l is equals to i plus one h is equals to minus one we are calculating the mid and if if the mid is greater than start suppose 0 2 2 and 3 and the start here is something like 3 5 and 4 this 3 should be greater than this 2 then i am saying that okay this can be my answer i am decrementing the boundary suppose this is the boundary there my answer is true so i will decrement the boundary so we will check in this array or if it is failing over here then we will check in this cell so in this way l is equals to m plus 1 and we are returning the k so what would be this time complexity n into log n i think you have understood this solution so if you understood it please like and do subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching